we are going to swap out the thermostat on a John Deere 2155. Now I've already taken the thermostat out on this, but we need a 9 and a long ratchet and a regular screwdriver. So pulled the exhaust muffler off. Got to pull the release latches on the side. And we're going to pick this up. I'm going to pull it forward. Put that up like this. And lean it up against the hood, or if you don't have a hood. So, okay, can you get around here, Sweetie? Yeah, let me see. Alright, so we've got three screws two right there, and two right here on the overflow tank. So we'll take those off really quick. Now we're not going to take the overflow tank totally off. And if you've already taken this off, you'll know that the, the water will drain out in the center of the overflow tank. It fits over a nipple that sits on top of the radiator that lets hot steam out into it. We are just going to pull this up today. Take these screws out so we don't lose them. Put them in a pocket. And then we're going to pick this up. And there's a little clip right here on the side that we've got to pry off. Get free as well. We're just going to move that out of the way, and then right here we've got two 9 16 bolt and a bolt that hooks the muffler on. Where'd that ratchet go? this off previously on the field because I had to get the thermostat out because the tractor was over there so that I could get it back and unfortunately whoever replaced this there's no gasket in it so when I did take it out in the field it was shooting water everywhere that's why the overflow tank doesn't have any water in it Okay, so there's one bolt. The one on the back side is a lot longer. take this bolt entirely out we just need to loosen it but I'm gonna have to go get a wrench for behind I'm gonna stop it real quick low rise half inch so that it'll actually fit in that gap and then I've got a 13 because somebody put a metric nut on the back side of this Just need to loosen it just enough so that we can get that cap off there. Okay. We gotta move it to the 
side. Okay. And now you can see down in there where the old one was. And you got the little rim where the thermostat sits down in there. We've got a little bit of old gasket, but looks like they didn't replace it before. So I'm going to go get a gasket cleaner or razor blade and scrape all this off. Now we're going to go ahead and scrape this off. And I just usually use a old... knife so that I don't ruin any razors. Okay, and now we're just going to take an old wire brush. I can't find, I've got an old spark plug cleaner, which I usually use, but this will work today. The reason for doing this is to see if you've got any big chunks left you need to use a razor on. Okay, and now we're just going to clean this off down here.
basically want this to seat well so we're not leaking any radiator fluid and it looks like we've got just a little bit of gasket sitting right there Feels pretty good. All right. So this is the gasket, and this is the new thermostat. There's a part number for the 2155. And this sits down in there like this. So that when uh, when the water starts heating up, which it flows and it's got an overflow, you'll see a little overflow tube there. When this starts heating up, it starts to move down against the push on that spring. So this body has to sit <coughs> in the heat <coughs> in order for it to contract. Otherwise, if it sat here. It would never get hot because all the cool radiator fluids on top and it just wouldn't work so this is going to sit down inside um, and this has to fit inside the lip and then the gasket in case you can't see it is going to go over the top like that and then we're going to bolt it back on so first thing we're going to do is seat that down in there and you want to make sure that it doesn't wiggle so you set it down in there tight then we're going to put the gasket on we're going to rotate this out of the way i'm going to set that on there just like that and it moved this is the hard part So if the gasket's off a little bit, it's not that big of a deal, but you want to kind of keep it lined up with the holes as best you can. There we go. and I'm going to drop the short bolt in first so you can see there's two, two different sizes of bolts and the short one goes towards the front of the tractor and it's just for alignment And then you're going to rotate the muffler, the muffler stabilizer back around, and you're going to drop a second bolt in. But you don't want to tighten the first one too much, or else you won't get the second bolt lined up. Once it starts going down finger tight, you're good.
We're going to tighten it down fairly well. Now remember the gasket is on the back side of the active fluid. So tightening this down isn't going to hurt it too much, but you don't want to tighten it too much because it will squish the gasket, but the gasket's not metal or ceramic, so it's not going to work. It's just once it gets a little bit of fluid on it, it's going to start to swell. Where'd that other wrench drop? And then we're just going to tighten up the muffler again. inch or 13 millimeter then we're going to put the overflow back on the radiator there's just a little nipple right here that needs to be aligned in a hole in the bottom right there I'm going to drop that back down fits pretty easy you want to make sure that this is back on and the way you'll know if it's not lined up correctly is the screw should go in this hole right here the one on the right hand side And then put the other two screws on the other side and you're done and that's it thanks for watching